Praise God, everyone, in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that will come to sabotage you. Excuse me, guys, for the phone. Um, anything that will come to sabotage this reading, I cast it down to the pits in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, guys, uh, I'm praying that everyone is in the most best of health. Father God, we just ask you to come in right now with the heap of blood of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Could you give us a message? From the Divine Masculine right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. For the Divine Femme. Could you give us a message. Anything that will come to sabotage this reading. We cast it down to the pits. In the mighty name of Jesus. You're a queen. Pray for your enemies. You need healing from childhood wounds. Pray for strength and good health. Forgive your children, forgive your children or your children's father. Don't change your heart. Call your mother. Spiritual cleansing is required. I'm going to get one more. Change your atmosphere. God said it. Okay, guys. You're a queen. He wants you to know that you're a queen. Pray for your enemies, guys. That's awkward that that's coming out because with all the things that are happening and people coming against divine films and so forth or whatever, you know, it's best to pray for people because, you know, even though they do ugly things to you, It'll still bless you in a long run for you to pray for them and wish them more than what they are, you know, wanting for you. You need healing from your childhood wounds. Okay, this is to someone or whatever still needs healing from the thing about childhood wounds, guys, and God have he's chosen a collective of people spiritually. And at some point in time in your life, you know, you were down on your luck or you were going through a real hard time and you called and you asked and you uh, prayed to God and he heard your prayers and he wants you fully healed. The thing of it is with childhood wounds, childhood wounds are a part of the dark, dark night of the soul. Our childhood wounds keep us uh want want feeling like we need to be loved by someone so that's what make it even more worse and it makes us be codependent up on the divine masculines uh you know thinking that we need them to feel whole or feel complete or feel loved and it's when you're going through the dark night of the soul it's pretty much god tugging you and tugging you and pulling you because he says, love no man but him, you know, love no man before him. And we, when we're still dealing with childhood wounds, maybe some of us, we didn't, you know, we were adopted or we didn't have our parents growing up or we didn't have a good childhood uh, life or, you know, things happened to us. We were molested, raped or bad things happened. Um, childhood wounds or whatever, when you're going through the dark night of the soul, what it is when you're going through the dark night of the soul and, you know, and you're feeling so like you're getting beat down or your heart is getting ripped out of you or whatever. And you're, you're going through a bunch of heartbroken 
situations like that is making you, your heart feel so heavy and burdensome and just overwhelming of pain. It's when you are not allowing God to heal you and you're trying to hold on and keep hold of those things that God is one to release to make you feel better and to heal you and uh, to, to make you feel uh, whole and loved within yourself. We have to get to a place where we are loving ourselves. And when we're not doing that and we're um, seeking that feeling from another person, it causes us to go through the dark night of the soul because we're trying to hold on to those things and not trying to release them to be healed. And so, you know, it's some of us that still dealing with some of these things. I know for me or whatever, for the most part, I've got a lot of healing in and I've released a lot of things and my heart feels so much light. And it feels so, I feel so much better and so free of a lot of things that I just released up to God and I gave them to him all. And so someone within the collective or however is experiencing this and they still need childhood wounds looked at. And a lot of people, they don't want to, and it caused them to be bitter, angry, envy, insecure, deal with jealousy and all of that. Once you start begin to start loving yourself and you know who you are as a person and whom God have chose you to be, you have you don't have to seek out validation from the world and to make you feel complete and whole. You know who you are, you love yourself in every aspects of your your a part of you, you're loving yourself. And so, you know, that caused us to free ourselves of all these bad things and the way we feel about ourselves and release them and love ourselves and, you know, just feel light. You feel a light weight that just come over you. It's like a spirit that comes over you to make you feel light and more energetic and happy and so forth. And so pray for strength, for strength and good health. You know, some of us, whatever, you know, uh, we've been through things and we, we've we suffered from anxiety, depression, PTSD, different things, bipolar, all kinds of things. And some of those could be even childhood wounds that you're needing to be healed or whatever, you know, because they can be healed. Those things that we, those illusions and those conditions that we place up on ourselves or whatever are conditions or whatever that leave us with attachments that are not supposed to be attached to us. That's why God is an unconditional God. He wants us to love unconditionally so we can be detached from things that are not good and different spirits, you know, depression, anxiety, and all of those. Though Those are all a spirit and they're not a good spirit. They're not a spirit of light. And so we need to pray as a whole or whatever for God to heal and deliver whomever is suffering. And I'm not all perfect and I'm not all there, but I can give you some feedback on where I came from. And I have got a great deal of healing and it has helped me tremendously. And so forgive your children or your child, your children's father. You know, maybe, you know, it, your children's father is a cormic that you got with and made children with and they were a karmic they were sent by God to teach you lessons and you know or maybe some of the women that's in the twin flame room that's on the journey their kids are adults and they're not getting along well with them or they're they're teenagers and you know they have said and did things to their their parents or to you know some of the spiritual uh DFs or DMs and you know God is calling us you know to forgive your children's father or your children okay and then don't change your heart you know 
keep your heart. You, we come to God as we are, and then God will change us. You know, however God is wanting us to be or whatever, he changes the heart of man. So you don't have to change your heart. Just allow God to, to take care of it. Call your mother. Some, someone is needing to call their mother. And, you know, even could be me. I go over to my mom's house two or three times a day. But maybe today is the time that I need to call her. You know, maybe it's something I need. She needs to tell me or something. Spiritual cleansing is required. So, guys, I do do spiritual healings and spiritual cleansings. And so, if you need one, you could hit me up right now. I have them going for a special for seventy-seven, seventy-seven, seventy-seven dollars and seventy-seven cents. And so, if you would hit me up, I will do a spiritual cleansing and a spiritual healing on you for seventy-seven, seventy-seven. Change your atmosphere. God said it. You know, maybe some of us, you know, where we're living, uh, you know, our place of residence need to be changed or even cities or even, you know, just where you're living at. You need to change that. And so, um, guys, if you don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I would thank you very much. God bless and y'all have a great day.